Hello everyone, I'm Greg Larson, Geospatial Tech Support Manager at Scyther Instrument. It's September 2025 and we've an important issue that will affect our Trimble TSC-7, Ranger-7, and T-7 data collectors here in October of 2025. And that is the Windows 10 end of support. Windows 10 had a great run. It was released in 2015. October 14, 2025, uh, we'll see the end of support date for that operating system. Uh, and that's gonna affect most Windows 10 versions. For you on that day, especially for your, your data collectors, feature and security updates will cease to be issued. Uh, and what'll happen is your devices will become less secure. So our affected devices are the TSC-7, the Ranger-7, and the T-7. You know, and these devices were designed, you know, they were released in 2018, they were designed before that. Uh, long before anyone knew what the Windows 11 upgrade limits were. Uh, so basically the hardware prevents a uh, migration path to Windows 11. The nice thing is the T100, the T10X, and the T10X 2024 uh, have an upgrade path to Windows 11. If you have not done so, I strongly recommend that those devices be upgraded to Windows 11 as soon as possible. Uh, all of your software that runs on those devices is supported uh, on Windows 11 and we've done a lot of testing and everything seems to be working great. The TSC 7, Ranger 7, and T7 were issued. Uh, the licensing was issued in three phases. Uh, Windows 10 Professional on the TSC 7 V1. The first year of the TSC 7 V2 uh, had Windows 10 IoT Enterprise and then from 2023 onward the TSC 7 V2 had Windows 10 LTSC. Uh, the LTSC is long-term service contract and that has device support through 2032 or well the beginning of 2032. And you'll see later in the video we're going to be able to upgrade the TSC 7 V1 and the older V2s uh, up to LTSC uh, so you do have some options available to you. Uh, to check your TSC 7, Ranger 7, T7, go into the Windows settings Click on System, and once you're in the next menu there, scroll all the way down to About, and then scroll down to your Windows specifications uh, down at the bottom there. And if you see Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 IoT, uh, you will have to upgrade to Windows 10 LTSC if you want continued support. Uh, and here's a table here. Again, the V1s and the early V2s report through uh, next month, uh, October 2025. If, and then the LTSC units, uh, which these will be able to upgrade to, have support through 2032, or beginning of 2032. And here is the serial number cutoff. If you ever want to know what year your TSC-7 was manufactured in, the first two numbers in the serial number are, are the year it was manufactured and actually the next two are the week it was manufactured. But here are the serial number cutoffs. Uh, please write them down and check your devices. So what are your options? So you could do nothing uh, and I'll get into why that's probably a really bad thing to do here in a minute. Microsoft does have a program, the extended support program, and then Trimble stepped up to the plate big time and came out with an LTSC relicensing solution so I want to thank the, uh, the product managers uh, at Trimble for uh, giving us this really good program. So again, doing nothing. Uh, basically, your devices become less secure after October 14th. Uh, you're giving hackers, and I'm sure they're all waiting to pounce on this vulnerability uh, in October. Uh, you're giving them basically the key into your IT infrastructure. You know, unsecured devices are probably the, one of the easiest ways to break into a company's uh, IT uh, systems. Uh, adding antivirus may not help uh, because those don't really address system issues that can be exploited in an operating system. Flash drive and cable data transfer are not secure either. So the only collectors that might be safe are the ones that don't connect to the, connect to the Internet, and there aren't very many of those uh, around it. Microsoft will have an extended support program. Uh, you can enroll on the device. If you check your Windows updates, there's probably a section there now that says enroll now. 
it'll take you to a website. Uh, one of the first things it actually does is ask you for a Microsoft account. Uh, but there's two kind of two ways the ESU is going to work. You could go to the consumer plan, which is, I believe, what this enroll now will take you into. Uh, that's about $30 for one year. And again, that's only one year of support. If your IT department does work with um, like Microsoft business accounts, they might be able to get into that extended program. It renews every year, doubles every year, so it can range, you know, first year cost is $61, and that goes up to $427. So basically, here's the two websites uh, that can give you more information. Again, this is on your own. The Trimble dealers are not handling this. Uh, Trimble is not either. So best of luck. Uh, let us know how it goes. And now we get into the Windows 10 LTSC licensing program. Again, Trimble probably struck some agreements with Microsoft. And it's probably part of that agreement. Uh, this licensing program is only going to work through authorized service providers. There's a whole process we got to go through. A little bit time consuming. But we are going to offer you a two-tiered solution. Basically a solution without restoring your data. Because the the relicensing does re-image the data collector, so it does wipe all the data. Uh, some people like to customize their own, and they'll back up their data anyway. So to save you a little bit of money, we'll, we're giving you two options. Uh, and then option two, you can do the relicensing. We'll do a full service, Trimble data and software restore. Um, I'll explain some of the limitations on that in a little bit. Uh, but you'll get a certificate of authentic, um, authenticity. Uh, it's actually a sticker we can put on the device or we can give it to you. Uh, but the great thing about this is if you bought a TSE 7 V1 in 2018, you'll be able to run it till 2032 if you don't damage it or the batteries wear out or, or whatever it is. But that's impressive. Uh, 14 years of support. Haven't seen a lot of that uh, in my 25 years of doing this. So, I mean, the TSE, th TSE 3s ran for a long time, but their support was, was actually gone pretty early but people kept running them anyway. So Siler relicensing program, option one. This will wipe out your data, so all your data will need to be backed up. Uh, it will update your collector to Windows 10 LTSC, applies the certificate of authenticity, we re reload, reload the OS, and run any updates uh, that may be required. Again, you're getting a blank device as if you bought a brand new TSC 7. Uh, today, uh, it's just blank. Again, it is a time-consuming process, so it will cost about $227.50. Uh, but the nice thing is you'll get support till 2032. Option two, uh, we are going to ask, even though we're restoring your data, we are going to ask that you do back up your data before you submit them to us. You know, things happen. We're not a, a data restoration service, uh, so it's probably a good idea if you do back up your data. We'll do everything we can to restore it to its original state but we are going to require that you back up your own data before submittal. Uh, but we're going to update your data, you know, your data collector to Windows 10 LTSC. We'll restore your Trimble data in software. Uh, we can't restore your Outlook passwords, your OneDrive, your Exchange server settings. Uh, we just don't want that responsibility. You probably don't want us accessing all of those settings and passwords, so that stuff will still have to be done on your own. Um, you know, again, Trimble data and software only so that once you get it back, you're able to hook it up to your rovers and your robots and you're ready to go in the field. A little bit, this takes a little bit more time. It's going to take about two hours and cost about $350. And again, support till 2032. So just to recap the three options, the on your own option, the ESU option costs anywhere from $30 to $430. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of a free option there if you enroll in Microsoft OneDrive or something. But again, on your own, we can try and answer questions on it, but it, it, we don't. We're not going to administer the program. Our two options are the LTSC relicensing option, full service option through our repair centers. Option one, basically, you don't get your data backed up. Option two. You get your data back, well, your Trimble data and software backed up. Um, so that's the two options that you have there. Contact us for any any questions, well, on anything really, but uh, especially for this, call our toll-free number 
and our survey support email. Uh, we are anticipating a high volume of updates, so please get your requests in early. Have a good day.